MLF Invitationals closed on the Detroit River and it was a banger. That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and let me say thank you to all the people who subscribed and are commenting and watching the channel and viewing it and loving the content. I really do appreciate it. I try to reply to everything as much as possible, but I really do appreciate it. It's humbling to see all the responses and the views and the subscribers and the comments. I really, really appreciate it. I mean, I really appreciate it. But if you're not a subscriber, click it, become part of the team. This weekend, the Major League Fishing Invitationals ended on an absolute tear on the Detroit River. Now, first and foremost, there's gonna be a lot of people who don't like this because it was all about scoping. My boy, Keith Carson, finished first. Now, if you don't know Keith, Keith is a, Keith's best friend is John Cox. Now, these guys are sight fishermen to their bellies, to everything in their heart. And they both have realized that they need to learn forward-facing sonar. As much as it might, might stink and you might not like it, you have to know forward-facing sonar to compete right now. And Keith not only took home his first win on the Invitationals, but he also got the Red Crests, and this was just a fantastic win. This was one that I, I was really happy to see, and a lot of the shorts you're gonna see upcoming are, you'll see Keith in a lot of the shorts. But watching the tournament online and watching Detroit River show out with absolute ridiculous smallmouth was really fun to watch. Now it wasn't, I, I should say right off the bat, I think they made a conscious effort to tell the cameraman that when they go live to mention that they're live because when they mentioned it, the anglers started to talk a little bit more. They started to give out information on how, not only how the day was going, but how they were fishing. And this is one of the things that I thought was good about this tournament. I found it, well, I don't like to watch them, their backs. What I found though, is when the cameraman announced that they were live, that the anglers started talking a little bit more to the side. And we were seeing a side view of them looking down at their video screens, of course. But a majority of the anglers started really communicating on what they were doing and how they were fishing. And it was enlightening to learn because that's what I like. I like to know what's happening. I want to watch bass fishing and try to learn something new or something different or a new technique or a new bait or whatever it is. And I felt like Detroit River was the first time that even though it was all about scoping, that it was the first time where tournament anglers made a conscious effort to explain what was going on. So I really appreciated that. And Alec Morrison almost won the tournament and also won he did win rookie of the year and angler of the year and alec is a fantastic angler that's moving up to the bass pro tour in fact we know the five anglers that are now moving in to the bpt next season for 2025 and here's a little bit about him alec morrison he won the angler of the year and rookie of the year it was his first season on the invitationals and he not only qualified for the BPT, but he also qualified for Red Crest and a whole bunch of other stuff. But Alec is, a, he's a scoper. No offense to Alec, no shade. He's a scoper, but he's really deserving on the move up. He is the first season, like I said, on the Invitationals, and he's moving into the Bass Pro Tour. Next, Jake Lawrence is moving up in again in the first season. He had six career wins, 12 top tens out of 21 events and he has $412,000 in earnings. His YouTube and Instagram stuff are not very good, but this is something we'll talk about later on. Next is Kobe Miller. He is was 73rd in 2023. Now he is top three. Two career wins, 11 top tens out of nine events. He has $290,000 $290, in earnings, and he has 2.5,000 followers on Instagram. In fourth place was Jaden Parrish. He was 31st in 2023. He has two career wins, 10 top 10s out of 46 events, $131,000 in career winnings with MLF. He has 500 subs on YouTube and 4,000 on Instagram. And last, Marshall Hughes, his first season on the Invitationals. He had eight top 10s out of 27 events and he has just under $100,000 in earnings on MLF. Now, why did I say their Instagram and their YouTube? I think what these guys need to do right now, and I don't doubt they'll watch this, but if they do, thank you. But I think right now these guys have to get out there and start doing social media to another level. 
You need to film everything that you're doing. You need to start promoting your Instagram. You need to start promoting your YouTube channel. These guys are moving into the Bass Pro Tour. And to succeed on this, you need to have a following not only on Instagram and YouTube, but also be able to promote those sponsors that are paying you to be on the Bass Pro Tour. Give them no option to release any of your sponsors. Get all of it done right now start filming everything that you do start building your brand you've built the brand by being unbelievably successful alex jake kobe Jaden, and marshall you have done something that a lot of anglers dream of getting to the highest elite level on the bpt is something to be very proud of and feel very accomplished about but i want you anglers you rookie anglers of bpt for the 2025 season i want you to take this into everything that you do start hitting that road on social media you should have been doing it in, in before start learning the tags and when the correct time to post your videos are or what a real short video is or all the little things that will make you more successful because when you're successful you're making your sponsor successful but I really think it was a great job that y'all did making these five those five anglers are the top first five definitely in Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour for 2025. So stay consistent, keep working at it, push yourself, and thank you for making a great year. Those five guys crushed it this year. Those are five really good anglers. So congratulations. So are you guys gonna watch their content or follow them on Instagram? That's what I wanna know in the comments below. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. It's been wonderful and humbling of all the people that are on here right now. So thank you. Remember, take a good fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Thank you and cheers.